Today in this video we will know about the different types of cables used in instrumentation and control system. If you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon. The instrumentation cables are used to connect the instruments with each other or to a control system. These cables are essentially multiple conductor cables. The instrumentation cables carry low power electrical signal for monitoring and controlling of instruments and their associated processes. Instrumentation cables can be categorized in three categories. Signal cables, control cables and communication cables. Let's talk about the signal cables. These cables carry instrumentation signal or data between the instruments and control system or monitoring devices. These cables carry low power instrumentation signal like 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 5 volt signal. These cables are essentially shielded cables and most likely the wires of these cables are twisted. Why the signal cables are shielded? The signal being sent through instrumentation cable may be adversely affected by the external electromagnetic interference, radio frequency interference and electrostatic interference. These interference may be available in surroundings. The cable shielding protects the signal cable to pick up the external interference or noise. Why signal cables are twisted? Twisting helps to reduce the crosstalk between pairs of wire. Two insulated wires are twisted around each other to reduce crosstalk between wires. Most of paired cables are twisted pair cables. Types of signal cables In instrumentation, the signal cables can be of following types. Pair cables, triad cables, and thermocouple cables. Pair cables. The pair cables have two insulated cores or wires. These insulated wires are twisted together. The pair cables are laid between the control system and instruments like pressure transmitter, level transmitter, flow transmitter, etc which gives 4 to 20 milliampere low current or low voltage signal. The pair cables can be single pair type or multi pair type. In multi pair cable, more than one pairs are there and they can carry more than one signal. The multi pair cable are laid between the signal junction box to control system. The next signal cable we will discuss is triad cable. The triad cables have three twisted and insulated wires creating a triad. The triad cables are laid between RTD to temperature transmitters. The triad cables may also have multiple triads like three triads, four triads, eight triads and so on. The multi triad cables are used between the junction box and control system. Thermocouple compensating cables are also a type of signal cable. The thermocouple compensating cable is used to extend the thermocouple signal from thermocouple to transmitter. This cable is identified by letter C. For example, the compensating cable for K-type thermocouple will be KC cable. The wires of thermocouple compensating cable will have same electrical features as thermocouple, but they do not use same material used in dissimilar wires of thermocouples. Now 
now let's see the control cables the control cables are also called as multi core cables these cables also carry low voltage electrical signal the control cables are used to carry low voltage control signal like on off command of motors actuators solenoids relays etc these cables also carry feedback signal like on off status of pumps motors actuators limit switch etc the twisted core is not required in control cables the regular control cables does not have any shielding but they can have shielding in some cases let's come to communication cables the communication cables are used to carry information within a network of control system instruments vft and monitoring devices the ethernet cable and profibus cable are most popular communication cables in instrumentation ethernet cable is most common type of network cable the ethernet cable connects devices such as computers routers plc vfd in a local network the ethernet cables have limitation of cable length the maximum cable length of ethernet cable can be 100 meters if a network cable is too long it would not carry a good network signal ethernet cable can be connected through rj45 connectors let's talk about the profibus cables the profibus stands for process field bus and it is most commonly used in industrial network worldwide profibus cable provide high speed data transmission the data transmission rate of profibus cable is up to 12 megabits per second the profibus cables are used to connect remote input output module to its main plc system to connect the dcs to its control module to connect the vfd to plc or dcs and data communication between complex plc or dcs network profibus cables are very easy to connect through its connector these cables have two wire one is red wire and another is green wire the red wire is always considered as positive and green wire is always considered as negative the maximum cable length of profibus cable can be 1200 meters so that was all about the instrumentation cables let's summarize once the instrumentation cables can be categorized as signal cables control cables and communication cables there are three types of signal cables pair cables triad cables and thermocouple cables same communication can be categorized as ethernet cables and profibus cables so that was all about the differences between bluetooth and wifi we do hope that you like this video if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon